surviving that now for three straight weeks under you where they want to get those takeaways and make something happen with that. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Evan. You know, I, I'd like to say it, it, it's something I've done or I've brought to, to this thing, but, you know, it's funny. I go back to, I think it was before training camp started, and I'm in my office, and I peek outside, and I was like, what's going on out here in the indoor? And a couple of our senior leaders, you know, Zay Collins and, and Quindell Johnson and those guys had gotten the whole defense together, and this is in training camp, actually. And they between practices, they were doing their own takeaway circuit, which I just thought was really cool. Um, you know, you know, the belt adds another dimension to it, but um, they've just done a great job. They take a lot of pride in it. The drills help with the technique, but at the end of the day, I think it's a point of emphasis that that our players have brought. Well, what does that mean for you to see that? Like, obviously, you just come in here and get to know these guys, but you're seeing the leaders already kind of emphasize, hey, we want to do the takeaway. What does that do for you as a coach trying to implement some of your techniques? Yeah, it's fun, man. It's really fun. And that speaks to the culture that Coach Silverfield's built here and the players that we've recruited and, and brought in. Um, it's a, it's a fun group to coach. You know, it really is. I've never had more fun coaching my whole life. Um, and that's because of the people I get to, to, to be with every day. And then when you look at Saturday's game, I mean, Champ Simmons is like their guy heading into this game. You guys are in the cutting down. How much pride do you take in being able to take away their number one weapon? On, on, on yeah, I thought we, uh, he's a very dynamic player. I thought we did a good job against him. You know, taking him out of the game was a, a, a big point of our game plan. And, you know, I thought we at least in that way made him a little bit left-handed. Um, you know, as a result of that, they had some other guys make plays, and obviously, you know, the tailback ran really well. And um, but it was good to see that a point of emphasis um, throughout the week was was executed in the game. And then when you look at the personnel, when you have a point of emphasis and they go out and they do that part, just what does that say about the the mental part of the game? Yeah, that's a great point. And you know, the thing to me is we're, we're such a young defense. You know, we. We have a handful of guys that have a lot of playing experience, but many of our guys are new and they're going to continue to get better and better every week. And just, you know, things you take for granted that maybe from the outside looking in, you don't, you're not as aware of just taking a, a, a meeting to the practice, taking things that show up in practice and applying them to the game, you know, will we'll grow and grow and grow as the season goes on as a defense because we're able to get those things done. Some of those guys we you know haven't seen a lot of. So how are you assessing them, learning kind of through the fire a little bit with, with, along with Quinn? Yeah, absolutely. Great point, Evan. It's uh, you know, I think I've mentioned it before, but it's a constant evaluation. You know, we'll go watch the film from today, and and you just off the top of my head, I know there's some guys that really, really pushed today and made some strides. And and I think you know you've you've got to make sure that the players know it's constant competition, constant competition, and that you know, great efforts will be rewarded. So really pleased to your point with how, you know, some of those young guys, just to throw a name out there, I thought Ross played really, really well for us in the game. Um, and, and really his first few meaningful snaps of the season um, played really, really well. So expect big things from him moving forward. So with that, like, as you're evaluating this young group, are you just kind of like, you know, are you pleased with kind of how they're learning so far? Because they are getting thrown into the fire. I'm just saying, obviously, Mississippi State is yeah. another Arkansas State team that passes so much. I am. Yeah. Again, it's, it's, you know, as much as we want it to be in, in leaps and bounds. And I think in some areas it is, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's gradual progression when you're talking about young players and, and guys being on the field, you know, really for the first time, there's just no way to fully simulate the true game environment. And I think our guys are, are getting better and better every day. And, and certainly those game experiences are invaluable. I'm super proud of them. Sure. Do you credit that to, to some of the young guys or, you know, what, what kind of goes into that? You know, I think it's, you know, as, as coaches, we got to really look into, you know, how we're coaching it and, and, you know, making sure we're demanding it throughout the week. And, um, you know, fewer and fewer opportunities to tackle in, in football nowadays and, you know, outside of the game. So when we do get those opportunities in practice, we, we really got to make the most of them and make sure we're coaching them really well. Um but yeah, absolutely. You know, missed tackles in in the first game and missed tackles in this last game um, have been you know probably the biggest thing. That was a major point of emphasis on Sunday when we reviewed the film was just how many missed opportunities there were for tackles to be made in the backfield, particularly on first down. And then they're looking at second and twelve, second and fourteen, and then it's somebody slips out of a tackle, and now it's second and two, or in one or two cases, it was first and ten again. You know, so. Just making the most of those opportunities when we pressure into a play or something, you know, when we're in the right spot, we just we got to tackle. And to your point about the 
not having so many opportunities. You know, Ryan said that you can't do too many live reps in practice because of the, the pitch yeah. injuries. And so yep. How do you find that balance of, of getting at least a, a little bit of those live sure. reps? Sure. It's hard, and, and we try to get some live reps and, and just be smart about how much space they're in and opportunities for you know, small area collisions versus big area collisions, you know, high speed collisions is what we're trying to avoid. Um, when we do live tackling drills, we try to make it an emphasis on low tackling to avoid, you know, head and neck injuries and things like that. So, you know, there's a lot of time spent in putting the detail together in how we're going to teach tackling and how we do it. Um, but you know, there's just no substitute for live tackling in game. He's done a great job. Um, he's been sort of our Swiss Army knife. Um, you know, we, we've thrown a lot at him. He played in the first game. His role was much different than it was in the second game and much different again in the third game. So uh, he's a dynamic player. He works extremely hard. Um, you know, he's the culture of our defense. He's a blue collar guy. Um, just every day comes to work. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that can definitely take it from the meeting to the field. And, um, you know, Evans mentioned the takeaways. He's, he, he's a guy that you know, kind of built um, – he had more than anybody through training camp, more punch-out fumbles, and really that was kind of how we, we taught the technique was just kind of what we were seeing him doing. And, and you know, that builds momentum when, when their teammates see somebody have success doing it, then all of a sudden they say, okay, yeah, that works. I'm going to start doing it. So he's done a terrific job. Very proud of him. You mentioned just the culture of the team, but being a Memphis guy, does that kind of feed into that as well because he understands what this city is about? He does. He's gritty. He's got some grit to him. So um, he's like me. He's ugly. I know that. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. He, but he finds a way to get it. No, I'm just kidding. He, he uh, He's gritty, man. He, he's, you know, I'm not going to put him out there. But all the things that he does just to have an opportunity to be here, it's, it's grown man stuff, you know. And, you know, there's several guys on our team that go through, you know, they go through a lot just to be able to be here in the building and, and play football. So, He's gritty through and through. He's a blue collar guy. I love him. Our, you know, our team loves him, and uh, super proud to have him here. Last thing for me, North Texas likes to run the ball a lot. Obviously, they, they're spread offense historically, but they love to run the ball too. What what challenges does it present for you? But also, given how well you guys have been stopped with dealing with the run so far, does it excite you to kind of face a team that can want to punish you a little bit of fun and spread it out? Yeah, you make a great point, Evan. They really do. They want to punish you. You know, they come off the ball and. You know, they play real, real heavy double teams on their zone schemes and things like that. I mean, they're, you know, there's nothing finesse about what they do. You know, they know you know what they're running and they don't care. They're going to run it right at you. Um, so it's a great challenge for us. You know, again, I look at it, I look at each week as just an opportunity for us to improve. And, and this week's an opportunity for us to show that we can be physical and, and you know, go line up against those guys for 60 minutes and, know that it's going to be a dog fight and, uh, you know, improve tackling and, and the way we play up front and all those things. So I'll, I'll go back to the run defense. You guys have done really well with that. Again, talking maybe a little bit. Does that kind of excite this unit a little bit to say, hey, if you want to be physical, you can be physical with me too. Is that something you guys want to take pride in? I think so, yeah. You know, to me, if you, if, if you can't get up for a game like this and you're playing football probably for the wrong reasons, you know, this is – you know, and they can throw it too. I mean, they, you know, uh, I mean, they don't have quite the passing stats, but quarterbacks got a live arm. They got a couple really talented receivers. They got a nice little pass scheme they put together. But you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be a it's going to be a blue collar game. It's going to be a lineup smash mouth game, even though there's spread sets and tempo. So, uh, you know, our guys will be up for it. They'll be excited to play. We're always excited to play in the Liberty Bowl, and uh, really looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you, guys.